To explain how an express lifts floor selector works, I'd make one out of Lego. Unfortunately, before I started filming, Jay found it and made it into a rocket ship. <laughs> so I had to start the whole thing again. This is my Lego representation of an express lifts floor selector. These are in days before the microprocessor and this is a mechanical way of telling the controller where the lift is and these represent the level that the lift is at and what it does is it presses a, a switch on this side so currently this is actually pressing the switch for floor one these are relay controllers so it relies on mechanical methods rather than processors at the top we have two electromagnets one for the upward direction and one for the downward direction and what happens is, is when this gets a pulse it sucks this in like that to the electromagnet and as soon as this loses its pulse this returns back again and that has just turned this whole carriage round and now it's knocked it out of the first floor position and it actually requires two pulses so now it will go, it will go um, in the downward direction again and it will move it around another quarter and now that is activating the ground floor switch. I've got the sticker missing. Okay, so it's reached the ground floor now. If the power turns off to the whole system, it doesn't matter because there's no memory to lose. Because it's still pressing the switch when the power comes back on again. So this is a good representation of where the lift is. Now the lift moves in the upward direction. It does the opposite. Now it's activating this electromagnet and it pulls this in and it turns the carriage around the other way. So it goes, second floor, so one pulse turns off the second floor light, another pulse turns on the third floor light, it gets another pulse, off goes three, on comes four, another one, on comes five, and then off goes five, and on comes six. The audio that you can hear in the background is actually from an express lift motor room. You can hear the electromagnets turning the carriage floor selector. Now I will show you what triggers this carriage floor selector. In the lift shaft are these plates. There's two. Each is read by a separate device on top of the lift car. When the device reads both of these plates at the same time, on the overlap, this is probably the stopping position of the lift on the particular floor. These are found at every level in the lift shaft. The device on top of the lift car is called an inductor. Each time it reads a plate, it either turns off the current floor or turns on the next one. This animation is only showing one of the plates. If you're lucky enough to come across an old express lift, the inductor switch makes a pinging noise as it passes the plates. Only thing with this lift is hardly any of the bulbs are working. Now I have to explain the whole thing to Jay. Where is the lift now? These down here are switches, okay? When this little stick here of Lego comes out onto here, it's actually pressing a micro switch. So there are no wires on here. All this does is turns around and it presses the switches. So the controller knows that the lift is currently at the third floor. Now, when it's going up, wait a minute, I'm gonna do that, leave it there. When it's going up, 
it sent it receives a signal from the lift car to say it's moved in the upwards direction. And what it does is that goes Ding. like that, and then back to where it was before. And now you see it's moved around. Just line it up. Now it's on the fourth floor. So if it goes up again, this goes like that, and it moves up to the fifth floor. So oh. now the controller knows the lift is at the fifth floor. Now, let's say it's stopped and the doors have opened and this bit's just fallen off, okay? <laughs> let's pretend that, shall we? <laughs> so now it's at the fifth floor. The controller knows it's at the fifth floor because this switch is activated. Let's press the switch in there. Now it's going to go down. So what do you think is going to happen when it goes down? It crashes! It's going to send a pulse to this electromagnet and that's going to move this in. Now it's going to push the whole thing the other way. So now it's at the fourth floor. That goes back to where it was. Move it along a little bit. And then it goes down another level. And that pushes that. And that pushes that down to the third floor. And that's how an express lift floor selector works. This happened whilst filming. <laughs> oh, I've had enough with this thing. I've really had enough with this thing. Oh my god. Che, please make this back into a space rocket. I've had enough with it. Have you so I can break it? Yes, you can break it. Why? Because I've finished with it and I've had enough with it. <laughs> the Express Lifts Floor Selector is no more. <laughs> you can make a rocket now. Here are your boosters, Che. Here are your boosters. Boosters.